Hello everyone. So this is a up-to-date version of the one I did about 12 months ago on, on how to set up a wheel. I'm using the Thrustmaster T150 Pro. Uh, and this is how you set up the wheel on the bus. I know quite a few people have been asking me to do an up-to-date one. The video I did of this was last year and it had dis different options, the old and the new. But this is the new option. So what you have to do really now is once you're on the screen, um, click options and then you go to the keys here and then of course you move along if you're on joystick it's all different uh, pad layouts and if you go onto the wheel there's mine and I'll show you now so I move left and right which is the ac uh, X axis and then if I do the accelerator or the gas that is called the slider so that's doing that and then the brake is of course the Y axis so if you move more together, left and right, brake and gas. Right, so I'm going to now put these to default, which will delete everything. And so uh, the best thing to do now is don't bother messing around with none of this because it's just long-winded. I, I find the other way that I'm going to show you now way better. So uh, just skip off that and go down to device assistant. Now on here now, this will show you move the steering wheel left right then the accelerator or the gas and then the brake the indicator left indicator right um, then the doors so all you do on this now is make sure everything's uh, like your wheel is is straight it's not cur it's not bent to the left or the right so you click on continue and now it says steer to the absolute left so I'm going to steer steer my wheel now to the left until it stops then do one or two turns until it says right and then you go now absolute to the right so you turn it to the right all the way to the right and then do one or two turns and it should say there we go it's back to normal back to straight and now I press down the on on the accelerator lift my foot off and now do exactly the same with the brake lift my foot off and then I do the indicator for the left indicator for the right I've got the door clearance on my wheel, which can be anything. I'm using, as I said, the Thrustmaster, uh, which is a, uh, um, a PlayStation wheel. So uh, I'm going to press square. You can press anything else you want on it. It's entirely up to you how you bind the keys on the, uh, on the wheel. So I'm going to use square for mine. And then I'm going to use circle for, um, for opening the door. And now I'm moving the wheel. I'm sure you can hear it through the microphone. And then I'm doing acceleration or gas and brake at the same time. I can do the flashing, as you can see, on the uh, indicators left and right. And I can also then do the uh, door clearance there, flashing, and then the opening the doors. All you do then is confirm. And once that's done, as I said to you before, it's all there. And then uh, apply. Don't forget to apply. If you don't apply, nothing's going to work. But you can also now uh, key bind everything, like the doors, more door doors opening, the lights and that light if you want to on your wheel. Uh, I, I really do all this before I play it. This is just like a, a, a demo to show you how to do things. But once you're happy, don't forget to press apply. If you do not press apply, they will not work and you'll have to go through all this again. Right, this is the beta. I am playing the beta. Uh, the only thing I found out wrong with the beta at the moment, and, and as you know, this game's been in that early access for a while, it still stutters uh, and so on and so on. But we're doing this video more about how to set up the wheel like I just showed you. So uh, I'm not going to worry about getting the tickets and doing all that. I'm just going to get in there now. It's nice to hear the engine now back on the Scania. What I'm going to do now is close the door using my wheel. And I'm just going to drive off. The wheel's working look, left and right. I've got a bit of force feedback as well. Um, and now we're going to drive off and just have a quick test. So the accelerator's working. Brake's working. Accelerator. Brake. So I'm just going to quickly go around. There we go. It's working. And that is how you set up the wheel. 99% of wheels can be set up in that way. But the main thing is as well is you make sure that your wheel has update drivers and do this all through Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm on Windows 11.